Okay. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. How are you? No, I don't want to say hello, and I refuse to say hello. I won't say hello. It's in your contract. You have no, to. No, I'm not saying hello. <laughs> Get stuck. And good afternoon. I'll say good afternoon, though. You're a classy guy. And greet you with the news that Geelong are in front of Fremantle. <laughs> and young Gary Ablett, one goal in the first quarter. And the Cats are flogging them. 7 4 46 to 2 3 15. That's outstanding news. Yeah, the um, red cheeky stand will be rocket. 40 yeah. seconds over, we haven't started, Trace. If it's a boring match and you hear me get really excited, it's because I'm watching the Geelong game in the next corporate box next door through my binoculars. <coughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Yes, can you hear me, Gary? Is that all right, mate? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Matt. Can you hear me, Matt? Thanks, mate. Can you hear me, Harry? Can you hear me? It's Tommy here. Yeah. Yes, uh, Kevin Butler here at Colonial Stadium. Today's umpires are Justin Smith. Justin Smith. Justin Smith. Carlton and the Kangaroos this afternoon coming to you from Colonial Stadium. Brett Ratton and Anthony Stevens, the respective captains, making their way to the middle for the toss. Kevin Bartlett joins us alongside Russell Green. KB, good afternoon. We've seen a draw. <laughs> we've seen underdogs get up. What on earth have we got this afternoon? Well, we've got two sides uh, fighting for a little bit of credibility so early in the season with the Blues and also, of course, the Kangaroos and Ratton winning the toss and kicking left of screen, but uh, both these sides really do need this win today. Only fifth game into the season, but it's going to be tough. Well, take us through the team lineup. Well, Mick Martin, of course, uh, that'd be interesting if he does line up against uh, Corey McKernan at full forward, his old teammate. Good to see Craig Bradley back playing. There were some doubts about him actually playing uh, in this game. Lappin is always such a dangerous uh, performer for the Blues across the half forward line. Archer, what a season he has played. He's been absolutely fantastic. Ratton in the centre, just such an important player in terms of winning the ball and pumping it forward. But Anthony Stevens and Simpson have both had very good seasons so far. McCartney, sometimes he's played up forward and sometimes down back. Lance Whitnell has been playing down back for the Blues, just filling up that hole. They've been struggling in the last line of defence. McKay, of course, has always been superb. And Byron Pickett has been an absolute match winner for the Kangaroos. And Big Sav up forward. He's booted nine goals this season. Uh, Simon Beaumont will give away a bit of height there. But uh, Beaumont coming off a terrific season last year as well. And Luke Livingston just playing one of his uh, few games for the Blues. And Justin Murphy has been very good also in a couple of games this year since coming back from uh, Geelong. And Spider Burton in the ruck against uh, Merrington. That will be interesting with the young man taking on the big spider. And, and there the, the bench. benches as they stand and as they will start this afternoon. Yes, well, Lee Harding has kicked a few goals, six goals this year. And, uh, of course, Shannon Motlop, uh, famous for that incident last week against Sydney. And down mining them on the bench this afternoon, the minder, Francis Leach. <laughs> yes, it's been such a bizarre weekend of football, hasn't it? I'm waiting for some of Kevin Shetty's Martians to turn up here this afternoon and abduct the players. That would be about the only thing that would surprise us. It looks like the Blues are going to be going to the left of screen at the start of this first quarter. And as uh, Dennis Pagan said in the interview earlier on, it could be very physical early. We're looking forward to it. Yes, we are. Merrington, he kicked four goals last week, and he's got Nicky Martin this afternoon. That might be something different for him. A big test for the young 23-year-old Andrew Merrington. Well, Mark Porter not starting in the ruck against his old team. It is Burton, and he's going up against Corey McKernan.